so you can actually record HD video right on your phone, edit it right on your phone, and then with a few taps, email it, send it in an MMS, send it to MobileMe, send it to YouTube. It's pretty remarkable. But we're going even further than that. Because what we've done is we've written an application ourselves called iMovie for iPhone. And rather than tell you about this, I, I, I want to show it to you. And to show it to you, it's my great pleasure to invite Randy Ubelos. He's one of our incredible engineers. Our chief, he's the chief architect for all our video apps. I'd like Randy to come up and show this to you himself. Randy? Thanks. Thanks, Keith. Thanks very much. You know, I've been working on video editing software for a long time on some pretty groundbreaking products. Fifteen years ago, it was Final Cut Pro. Three years ago, it was the new iMovie. This year, I had the opportunity to work on another one, iMovie for iPhone, and it's one of the most exciting things I've ever worked on. You can now record HD video, edit with beautiful theme transitions and titles, and share your finished pro uh, movies all on the device that you carry in your pocket every day. It's really amazing. Let me show it to you. Go ahead and bring this up, and you can see the icon there. I'll go ahead and tap on that. So once we bring up the application, you get a list of all the projects that you have. And I'm going to go ahead and just tap on this project. And now I get my editing environment. I can see the clips that I have edited into this project down here along the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and rotate the phone over so we can go to landscape. And you see I got the same view here. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of editing on this. I can record directly into the timeline if I want, or I can choose from existing uh, clips and photos that are on the device. I'm going to go to my video bin here, and I'll just scroll down. Let's pick this clip and put this in. And I can pinch and change the scale of the timeline down here. And we'll go ahead and select this clip. And now I can just grab the pin and drag this to trim the beginning portion of the clip to set the length to be whatever I'd like. And I can zoom that in a little bit if I like. Now let's go ahead and add a photo. So what I'm going to do is go back to my bin, go to my photos. Then I'll scroll down here a little bit. And we've got this weekend and SF event. We've got a nice picture here that's got the whole group. So I'll go ahead and choose that. Now, once I've got that in there, I can tap on it. And photos automatically get a Ken Burns effect on them. So I can go ahead and adjust that. I'll go back to the beginning. And I can pan around. I can zoom in. And you'll see that as we go from the beginning to the end, I'll get a nice Ken Burns effect on that. I can also use theme transitions. So I'm going to go ahead to this title. And I'm going to switch it from across dissolve to a theme transition. And when I do that, I get this nice theme transition that'll come across on here. We can go ahead and put a title on the first clip. I'll just double tap on it. I'll select title, and I'll choose an opening title. I'll just go ahead and tap, and I'll uh, get a nice uh, title here. So I'll go ahead and just type in uh, our California vacation. And once I put that in there, one of the things you'll notice is that it's put San Francisco on there. The camera records geolocation information into the video that's been recorded, and we pick that up automatically, and it gets put into the theme, as you see there on the screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some music. So I'll go ahead and I'll bring up the audio bin. I could bring in uh, music from my iTunes library, or we also have some theme music that comes with the product. So I'll go ahead and choose this playful track. Well, let's go ahead and just play this back. We're in San Francisco! Mm -hmm. We're going to show you a version of this project that was exported out at 720p HD. And what you're going to see was produced entirely on the phone. Recorded, edited, rendered, all completely on the phone. I'll go ahead and show you that.
That's all. That's iMovie for iPhone 4. Thanks very much.